Let us find the coordinates of center of mass of a right circular solid cone. Before that, let's put two axes. Let's put the x and y axis to this cone, to this cone. That is, let the x axis passes through its base like this and the y-axis through its height. That is, this is y and this is x. Now let us consider a circular disk at a height y from the base of the cone. That is, this distance, let this distance be y y we have the radius of the cone as r and the height of the cone as h see this total height will be h and the distance of the surface let this be a circular disk of thickness dy dy be its thickness and the height of it above the base is y so this length will be h minus y h minus y let the radius of the circular disk be x so from the triangle we have we have let us consider these two triangles that is that is this triangle let this be x this will be h minus y and the whole length is h and the radius is r that is this this triangle and this whole triangle applying the similarity we have similar property of the similarity of the triangle we have x by r x by r is equal to h minus y that is this height h minus y divided by h implies x will be h minus y divided by h into r clear now let's find out the mass of the expression for mass of the circular disk let dm be the mass of the circular disk then the mass will be density times volume again density into volume is area into thickness thickness is equal to dy so this is equal to rho into since the area is a circle the shape is a circle its area is pi x square dy so this is the mass of the circular disk you can substitute dm is equal to x is equal to h minus y by h times r so that is equal to rho into pi into h minus y by h times r whole square dy so this will be rho into pi you can take this r square and this x square on one side times h minus y whole square dy so this is the expression for dm now since the solid cone is symmetric about the y axis xcm will definitely be zero you know you don't need to find the xcm since it is symmetric about y axis xcm equal to zero but for the ycm you have to use the formula integral y dm divided by integral of dm so this will be integral y dm is equal to rho pi r square by x square times h minus y square dy divided by integral dm now you you also have to put the limit of the integral since y is the variable in here and this point will be the origin 0 0 this point is equal to 0 times h since the height is h so the y varies from 0 to h now this can be written as ycm is equal to 
you can take all the constants outside that is rho by r square and h square rho by r square by h square integral 0 to h y into h minus y whole square dy divided by now integral dm integral dm means density into again it is density into volume but but volume of the whole cone will be rho into 1 by 3 pi r square h so this is the total mass of this solid cone that is equal to rho into 1 by 3 pi r square h simplifying you will get ycm is equal to rho pi r square divided by h square 0 to h y into this this thing you can expand which is equal to h square minus 2 h y plus plus y square d1 divided by this is equal to rho pi r square h divided by 3 you can cancel this rho pi r square and this rho pi r square this 3 will go up so ycm will be 3 divided by h square into h will be h cube integral 0 to h h square y minus 2 h y square plus y cube dy clear now you have to integrate So YCM is equal to 3 by H cube integral of H square Y is equal to H square Y square by 2 minus 2 H Y integral of Y square equal to Y cube by 3 plus Y raised to 4 by 4. Now you have to put the lower and upper limit. For YCM is equal to 3 by H cube. You can substitute the upper limit. H square into H square. H square into H square by 2. Minus 2 H. H cube by 3. Plus H raised to 4 by 4. Minus. Since it is lower limit is 0. You don't have to write that. That. Now that term will become 0. So this is equal to 3 by h cube. This is equal to h square h raised to 4 by 2 minus 2 h raised to 4 by 3 plus h raised to 4 by 4. Here the LCM is 12. LCM is 2. So this is equal to 3 by h cube into you can write this as 6 h raised to 4 divided by 12 multiplying both sides by 6 numerator and denominator by 6 minus here you can multiply it with 4. 4 into 2 is 8 h raised to 4 divided by 12 minus here you have to multiply with the 3. 3 h raised to 4 divided by 12. So this will be 3 by YCM is equal to 3, 3 by h, h cube times 6 minus 8 is minus 2, minus 2 plus 3 is 1. h raised to 4 divided by 12. You can cancel this h cube and h. 
the h only h remains 3 by 12 is 4. So ycm will be h by 4. Clear. So the coordinate y coordinate of center of mass will be at a distance of h by 4 from the base. Clear. So ycm. So xcm is equal. So coordinate will be 0 h by 4. If you consider the set axis also, set axis will also be symmetric to the, the solid cone is also symmetric about the set axis. So the set coordinate is also 0. So the coordinate of the center of mass will be 0 h by 4 0. Clear. Okay. 